I'm Mike Holden, live in Berea this morning, where we continue to follow breaking news. This is where investigators say a suspected drunk driver lost control, skipped the curb, crashed into a light pole, and then went right through the front of this home. And a little after 7.50 this morning, restoration crews are working to bridge the gap, put that cover and seal off the front of this home, but you can see pieces and parts scattered all over the place. We've been speaking with Mark Sims. He is the homeowner, and he said right around 1.30 this morning, he was sound asleep, and that's when he said he wasn't sure if it was a bomb went off, a tornado ripping through the area. He woke up, walked out of his bedroom. He couldn't get much farther as a car was pinned against the back wall of his home, and now this is a look at the aftermath. His kitchen torn in pieces, refrigerator doors resting midair, restoration crews nailing nonstop to try to close up this area. We now know, according to Mark, after talking with police, that at least two people were taken into police custody. Here he is in his own words. I was sound asleep and then all hell broke loose. I thought I thought for sure waking up that I the house was hit by a tornado or something until I toddled out here and there's a car in my living room. Despite the damage, a live look right now. No one hurt, no one killed. Repairs believed to be in the tens of thousands of dollars. We'll continue to follow through with each and every development on this story here in Berea along Beeler Drive.